Hey, I'm Robert from Leedsy. I'm the co-founder and the developer behind uh, the Leedsy app. And I want to show you how our webhooks work. So first thing you're going to have to do is have to get activated for our API, which right now involves emailing us, and we will turn this on for you. Um, then when you go to your settings page, there's a new option for API here. And once you click on this, you will see your API key and you'll see an option to add in webhooks. So this can be any um, URL, it can be to Zapier, which I'm gonna demo this for you with, or it can be to your own service. So this is essentially how you subscribe and unsubscribe. Uh, what I'm gonna do is show you how it works with Zapier webhooks. So I'm going to go to Zapier, create a new Zap, and I am going to choose webhook by Zapier, Zapier, which is the first, um, which is a premium option. So I think you do have to pay for this. If you go to catch a hook, you will then be able to, uh, if you continue, find a custom webhook URL, which I'm going to copy, and I'm going to paste into here and save my changes. Then if we go back to here, We'll continue this and we need to be able to test this. So the way that you test this is you, you go to one of your requests and if you would like to assign a custom user ID to a particular request uh, so you can share these links dynamically, you can add on a parameter custom user ID equals user one two three four five let's do that and what this will do is carry through to the end of the request um, they don't need to be logged in but i am on the other tab so once they log in what this will actually do is attach this user id to that particular user and using our api you can actually see all of the requests that they can access to um, for the purposes of this demo, I am just going to give access to the page, the catalog, and the Instagram account, and hit confirm access. Once this has been given access, um, you will see on the zap uh, that if we test this trigger, you will see that there has indeed been a post request to this Zapier hook. And here is the information. You see the user has that custom user ID that we just put in. It shows the access level that has been given. If there are granular, granular permissions, it will also give that. And then the connection assets. Uh, so in this case, we've got the Leasy page. Uh, and the is success is true. It happens that I've done this before. And so uh, the message that we also get is you're trying to assign a duplicated asset to this agency but the success is still true because it's already been given access uh, and then the rest of them in here. Then whatever you want to do with this, uh, you could send an email, you could uh, update something in your own CRM, something like this. For the sake of just demoing it, I am going to just add it to a spreadsheet and I'm going to quickly set up um, something for Zapier webhook test and I'm just going to choose sheet 0 and then you can set up for example uh, the user the access level and then connection assets uh, I think you can give the whole of the connection assets block which is a list of things um, if we hit continue you can then go and test and review and I just so happen to have this spreadsheet open and you can see it's added. Um, I can retest this again and once this is done you'll see that two lines have been made and in here you can see that we've got the IDs, that is success, everything's been passed through. So that's how you set up a webhook using Leedsy. Hope that helps.